Do you continue? That that sounds wrong. Really. Really wrong. What was that? Is it coming from here? Is it you? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Why must it always be a good evening? I was just being polite. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you some questions, if I may. Don't like questions or doctors. And the name is Seymour Fishburne, if you must know. Were you the one stabbing things? Do you require me? I don't know which kind of doctor you're used to dealing with. But it's a doctor's purpose to heal people. No, no, Is it's not you. Well Somebody else is doing stabbings. I would say it's a convenient way for gaining people's trust. Have you heard anything recently about Sean Hampton's shelter? Called into the hullabaloo that could be heard coming from the building, I would say that all the local loonies are at his precious club. Aren't you worried about the conditions here in London? I've heard armed men have started patrolling the city, even killing the sick to stop the epidemic. Starting to like this city again. What can you tell me about this part of town? A shithole filled with maggots. Liars and thieves, all of them. Are you thinking about someone in particular? No. Hate them all. Especially these petty, whining little shitbag beggars. Is there no one who deserves your leniency then? Well, Tom from our local is somewhat of a decent bloke. At least, unlike most maggots, he knows how to listen without opening his trap. What's your occupation? I take care of my mum. It's what I do. She's the only good thing in my life. Even though I don't treat her so good. Sometimes it's hard to be a good son. I just want her to smile. No, I was thankful for her patience, appreciated life. God knows she deserves it. You seem upset. Is something bothering you? I lost the necklace I bought her. I'm a fucking idiot. A worthless idiot. I, I can follow, track down things pretty well. Okay. Goodbye. Well, that's three people that we found alive and we did treat one of them, so... Hopeful. Who is speaking? Could it be the two unknowns over there? Hello? Hello, boy. Uh, hello. Good evening. Did I scare you? You have nothing to fear from me. No, it's just that people prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. Do you need help? A real doctor caring about me. A real doctor treats everyone the same, Rufus. I don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Two people better. Heard anything about Sean Hampton's shelter lately? I rarely go near there, but rumor has it the place is restricted. Only members chosen by Mr. Hampton are allowed in. Are you worried about the sanitary situation? I never really felt safe in this town anyway. Now's the first time that everyone seems to feel the same way as me. Is anything worrying you right now? Gunshots? I hear them every night. Who's firing? Who are they shooting at? That's what's scary. It's okay, I keep on being followed by this stabby noise. <laughs> what can you tell me about this region? It's all about staying out of trouble. But since most people prefer to avoid me, it's pretty easy. Have you ever thought about leaving? Where else would I go? At least I know these streets and some people around here. This is my city, for better or worse. Why do people avoid you? They call me Rufus the Curse. Around here, I'm a bit of a bad luck charm. What do you do around here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the dock, sir. And I smile at those kind enough to spare me a bob. Do you have a job? It's hard to work. 
What with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they should run the dogs. <laughs> I like how Bob is some sort of monetary expression. Are you alone? Where is your family? I... I don't have any. My parents are dead. So you have no home? You're sleeping rough? No. I mean, yes. I live on the streets. I have no home. This city has abandoned so many of its children. It's tragic. Well, I've known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburne. She's been very kind to me. Why do you think she's so considerate? I can't say, sir. I guess she's a good soul. Sometimes it's like she replaces the mother I lost, even if we're not related. Okay. So long. Slightly getting to know people. Evening, we are treating some people. I'm Dr. Reed. Could I come in? Why? What do you want? I work at the Pembroke Hospital. I'm investigating the flu epidemic in this area. Oh, the Spanish flu. Well, that's quite liberal of you, Doctor. But this is no time to be knocking at people's doors. Let me in now. The disease takes <laughs> away the good people too, madam. Why not let me in? It's Mrs. Fishburne. Stella Fishburne. And yes, indeed. Why not let a doctor in? I swear I control the conversation. It's a bit scary. Don't stay too long, sir. You know what? She's gonna be the only person that I'm not gonna take possessions from. Unless those possessions are any letters that might help me by giving me insight. She seems to so far be very letter free. She seems fairly poor. I will not steal from her. So you have questions about the flu then? Yes, among other things. Forgive my rudeness at the door. It's just my son doesn't like strangers coming in the house. Mrs. Fishburne, are you in need of any medical assistance? I am fine for now. Like... Do you have any news about Sean Hampton's shelter? I heard you can't go there anymore unless you share his faith. A bit queer, don't you think? Well, now he's dead. Aren't you worried about the conditions around here? Hate everywhere. The city will not sink because of this flu. It's the violence that will finish us all. The orphan that regards you as a mother. Please tell me about him, Stella. You mean Rufus? I wish I could do even more for the poor boy. Most people are so selfish. But you're not. Years may have passed, but I haven't forgotten how it feels to go through days with nothing but an empty stomach. How is life around here? Life has always been hard in the East End. But it's everywhere nowadays, isn't it? Violence has always fed on poverty, don't you think? It's a cruel law of the human condition. And selfishness is their rotten fruit. These days, you could just die in the gutter and no one will bat an eye. Do you think the increase in violence has anything to do with the epidemic? Don't know, but it's most likely linked to the gangs, if you ask me. Recently, it's like everyone has had to pick a side. May I ask what you do for a living, Mrs. Fishburne? Since my husband died, I worked at the Dawson Rope Factory, but it closed before the war. I occasionally help at the night asylum in exchange for food. Did your husband die in the war? Oh no. My Jack was a docker. 
He died when my Seymour was just a lad. The poor boy saw his dad slip and fall from that scaffolding. How do you pay the rent, then? My Seymour works at the docks, just like his dad. He's very attached to the house he grew up in. It's not always easy, but we get by all right. Okay. Well, we talked with her. She's okay. How many people do we not know about in the docks, though? There's a few unknowns. She's missing, meaning she's probably also dead. Might be able to locate them. If not, we're gonna move on. No biggie. I'm just happy that I found someone around. It's locked. I was a. I thought, what have I done? Everybody's dead. <laughs> but no. At least some people are around. In his cabinet? I mean, that is very highly unlikely, but still. Have to check thoroughly. Hello, Jonathan. How are things on the West End front? Complicated, my friend. The rich and powerful feel threatened by the disease and have asked me to put an end to it. Yes. It is odd how resolving a crisis suddenly increases in urgency when it affects those who matter. Do you know Aloysius Dawson, the famous tycoon, is well versed in vampire and occult knowledge? No, I did not. But that is no surprise. For half a century, it has been quite the trend for English nobility to join secret societies and occult circles. Did he contact the Brotherhood of St. Paul? Try to join your group? It would not surprise me, but I am certain he's never been a member. But Aloysius Dawson is only a rich merchant. Yes, richer than Croesus. Wealth is more respected than title these days, even in England. Does the Brotherhood of St. Paul know anything about the Ascalon Club? Well, I'm afraid that's unlikely. Ascalon is a sensitive topic, and whatever material the Brotherhood has, I may not have access to. Who could answer me, then? Usher Talltree, our current primate, may be the only one able to answer you. He's a discreet man who lives in the West End. A primate? It looks like the epidemic is spreading to the Western Districts of London. I'm trying to locate the source of the infection. It won't be an easy task, my friend. This disease is highly contagious. Since this epidemic is evidently linked to the vampire curse, we must find the original carrier to understand where it comes from. I admire your logic, Jonathan, but be careful. Rationality, when it comes to your kind, is not always a reliable lens. Do you not think epidemiology could be helpful in this matter? To retrace the origin of infection through time and topology? If anyone can perform such a miracle, it will be you, Dr. Reed. Thank you. I don't know what kind of doctor you are if you consider research to be miraculous. Do one good circle on the outside. Weak skulls. Way! 
wallet. So, Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item. Those two have hidden their affections. Well? Kind of feels like I just can't find it. There is a house here. Look at ah, ah, shit that leech is fast. Well, you said that while being dead. <laughs> A survey mission. I think I know. I think we know now who Thelma was being watched by. Your good wallet. Evening, Milton. Good evening, Doc. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet with all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. <laughs> I remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. During the war, I witnessed a few couples, just like you, come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other, and that's all that matters. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Goodbye, Mill. Okay, so his wallet was retrieved. And I thought last summer's epidemic was different. I am getting horrible lag spikes. Don't suppose you hid the letter just somewhere in plain sight in here? Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening. That's not who I want to speak Goodbye. with. Good evening, Miss Howard. I need blood. Tell me, Thelma, what do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then I knew I was saved. You mean you actually saw a vampire here in London? Yes, and it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. No, you are deluded. You think you crave blood, but you have no physical need for it. You have no idea what that is like. But what am I feeling? It cannot only be in my head. I know my flesh is rotting. I feel it. It disgusts me. I'll leave you. That's precisely what it is. It's in your head, Missy. Okay, I really cannot locate the letter right now. So when we come back... We'll either... Find out where it is in the meantime. Or we're just gonna continue the story. So I'm gonna stop streaming for now, so see you later guys.